What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I was listening to the most recent episode of Baby Mama's No Dramas podcast run by Kale Lowry of Teen Mom 2 yesterday and thought I'd share a couple of sound bites that might interest you guys. So notably, her talking about what her second wedding would look like if she were to have one. And number two, no longer filming her son Lux's drop offs. So let's start off at the very beginning. Kale talked about how she felt as though like big weddings are a waste of money. She said, listen, I spent like $35,000 for my wedding to Javi Mahokin and um, you know, you guys all know the marriage ultimately did not end up um, working out. And then she also talked about how she fell out with each and every single one of her bridesmaids and Kale had six of them. I, she seemed to play victim about it, but listen, if you fall out with six different people, you're kind of the common denominator or in Kale's words, common demons toot and everything. So I don't think that you are necessarily the victim. We've watched Kale on Teen Mom 2 over the years. We listened to her on the podcast. We see her behavior on social media and it's pretty like clear as day that she's not the most pleasant person in the world. So it's not surprising to me that after a while, these people decided like they, they couldn't continue being friends with her. Of course, like in some situations, maybe she was the victim. But listen, if you fall out with all six of your best friends, something in the buttermilk ain't clean. And I, I have a hard time believing that you are the victim in every single situation. So V actually chimed in a little bit on these things. She said, listen, you know, I do think that big weddings can be a waste of money as well. Like I kind of like the simplicity and like the intimacy of smaller weddings. Um, she said that she only really had a big wedding because her husband Joe Rivera wanted to have a big wedding. And she also talked about how he has been like itching to do another like big party to celebrate their love since the wedding, like kind of like a vow renewal. But she's like, slow your roll. We've only been married for like three years. Let's wait until we get to like five, 10 years before we get into something Something like that. Kale said that if she were ever to marry again, she would like to have a small, intimate kind of destination wedding where like, you know, listen, if you can make it, come right along. And if you can't, that's okay too. So it's just like only like the really, really close people there around um, so that she doesn't have to spend that much money again. And she also says, listen, I don't want to have like a bunch of bridesmaids beside me because I fell out with all of my bridesmaids. And then V chimed in to say the same thing. She didn't say that she fell out with her own bridesmaids and stuff. She just said that it is a lot of a hassle. So she would like some something a lot like simpler, just the two of them, her and Joe, if they were to do a vow renewal ceremony in, you know, the next couple of years or ever in the future. So now as far as drop offs with her son Lux and um, her ex jump off uh, slash baby daddy, two time baby daddy, Chris Lopez, she says that she no longer wants to film them for Teen Mom 2 because Lux has started to have a tough time with them. She actually said, and I quote, he was like having a meltdown and on camera. And I was like, oh no, like I'm not going to then exploit it when he's still trying to figure it out. He's three. I'm not going to allow them to do it until he gets through that adjustment period. She continued on to say, and I quote, but everything I'm learning through the high impact club and other things is that it's very normal or common, I should say, for there to be like that meltdowny adjustment period between homes. But yeah, it's really hard. That whole car ride is usually about an hour long. I normally explain what's going on with the cameras there. That's a little bit hard. I personally don't mind her um, not filming the exchanges going forward because they don't even happen with Chris anyway. They happen with various relatives of his. And you know, the only real exchange that we wanted to watch was the one where she ultimately wound up facing criminal charges for allegedly assaulting Chris during it. And that never been aired on the show. So if we didn't get that, then nothing else really matters. You know what I mean? I also want to get you guys' opinions on her talking about quote unquote exploiting um, Lex's difficulty with the adjustment of going over to his father's house on like certain weekends. To me, it's kind of interesting to see someone from the show use the word exploiting because I kind of feel like if they really understood, you know, the, the meaning behind the term, then maybe they would kind of re think their participation in the show maybe. And it also calls into question whether or not, you know, she sees the other things that she's allowed um, between her other children or even Lex as well and their own fathers play out on television. Was it exploiting Isaac to have him uh, refilm a staged separation between you and Javi when Javi was supposedly going away for deployment, but it actually wasn't at that certain time, you know, when they were talking about the divorce stuff, like, you know, all sorts of different things. I would really like to get her um, kind of take on the various things that she may or may not regret having filmed with her kids over the years. So that's one thing I kind of like about Kale is that she can sometimes acknowledge, you know, when she has made certain missteps in the past. And so I do think that she could be at least a little bit honest about, you know, her feelings about what she has allowed to air uh, about her children over the years. And, you know, maybe talk about how complicated it was to make those sorts of judgment calls when she was super young. In an earlier episode of the podcast, she talked about how 
she felt pressured to film certain scenes and how like MTV made it seem like it was illegal. Like for them, they would be like breaking their contract if they didn't film certain scenes despite them like being uncomfortable with them. And this was in their teenage years when they were 16, 17, 18, and 19 years old. So it's gonna be, you know, you know what I mean? I, I, I think that that's a very interesting conversation worth having and kind of seeing what she feels about it all as she gets older. Because you know, you, when you're much younger, you do have that excuse of like, I was younger and when you were really poor as well, I was poor, I didn't understand anything like that. But now that she's got like a, a, a staff of lawyers on the payroll and um, you know, she's much older, she's like, you know, a sneeze away from 30 at this point. How does that kind of change, you know? Anyway, you guys, those are just my little ramblings as usual. I'm more looking forward to hearing what you have to say about everything. So please make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.